All right, so today I have one of my more interesting clutches of ball pythons that are starting to hatch. In this one, I actually took two different males and I brought it to the same female. It's the first time I've actually done this. And the reason I did it is because last year I took my blue-eyed leucistic male, which was a bamboo lesser. I bred it to four different females and none of those females laid eggs. It was a complete bust last year, which really cut into my ball python breeding season. So this year I kind of wanted to do a similar pairing. I took that blue-eyed leucistic, bred it to four snakes, and I was like, all right, this year I want to get some eggs for sure from that blue-eyed leucistic pairing. I actually took another snake and about three quarters of the way through the breeding season I took another male and I paired it to those four females hoping at least I'd get one or the other so and it's kind of interesting when you do two males with one female sometimes you can actually get a mixed clutch of eggs sometimes you'll have one male that fertilizes some eggs and one male that fertilizes the other ones so keep in mind with the blue-eyed leucistic it's actually an allelic complex with the bamboo and the lesser so we'll get half bamboos and half lessers if it was fathered by the blue-eyed leucistic and if it was fathered by the other one we'll actually get bamboos calicos pinstripes bamboo calicos bamboo calico pinstripes we'll get pinstripes and we'll get a few normals a, a slight possibility of getting a normal if we actually have the bamboo calico pinstripe pairing up with this female and if we actually have the blue-eyed leucistic which is allelic we won't get any normals so <laughs> we'll definitely know one way or the other unless i guess if, if we got just a straight bamboo we wouldn't know which one fathered it unless we looked at the whole clutch and figured out that just one kind of fathered the whole thing but it's, it's kind of an interesting pairing and kind of the other interesting thing too is you really can't have a crossover of genes so for example you really couldn't have one egg as far as I know you couldn't have one egg fertilized by two males so you really couldn't have for example like a lesser calico one gene that is specific to each male in that egg so I don't think we'll actually get anything like that but we should it'll be pretty interesting I think it's a I think it's at least a six egg clutch so it'll be pretty interesting to, to check it out and I know a lot of people have been waiting for the straight bamboos that's one of the reasons I wanted to pair up that blue red leucistic so for sure we get some straight bamboos out of it so I want to take those eggs pull them out of the incubator and let's check them out all right, so here we go, the moment of truth, a box of eggs fresh out of the incubator. And uh, I see a lot of heads poking out, just kind of peeking in the box. So it'll be interesting to see if we have to cut any of these. Oh, take a look at what we're getting. Wow. Wow, they're almost all out. <laughs> Take a look at that. That's pretty nice. Almost don't even have to cut them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And let's see what we have here. All right, so I'm just going to go through these real quick. We'll cut them open one by one. Take a quick look. This always gets really messy, really goopy. All right, so I want to take a look at this one first. Look at how much mold is on the bottom of that one. <laughs> There's like some mold. You can actually see it. So moldy eggs don't necessarily mean a bad egg, which is pretty interesting. Looks like, looks like a bamboo on that one. <laughs> Just a straight bamboo. How cute is that? One little eye sticking out. All right, come on, buddy. Let's see if we can get them back in. I kind of like to push the head back in here, if we can. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, so this is actually, so I think this was fathered by the, uh, so we'll definitely know on this one because this was fathered by the, uh, the uh, the lemon blast bamboo, the pastel pinstripe bamboo. No, it's uh, not. Uh, let's see. It's a uh, bamboo pinstripe calico. So we have bamboo, definitely bamboo in that one. Pinstripe, definitely. I uh, got some pinstripe in there. You can see some some pinstriping up on the top from the pinstripe. Calico? I think there's calico in there too. <laughs> Look at how white the sides are. Really wiped out. I think this is all the genes. 
Wow, that's kind of crazy. That is really crazy. All right, so I'm glad I followed up with that other male. Wow. That guy is really goopy. Wow. So we hit all the genes. No straight bamboos. <laughs> Still no straight bamboos at all this year, which is kind of crazy. All right, so let's see what else we got. Let's take a look at this one. All right. This one's looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, it's so goopy. Let's see what we got here. Mm, oh, this one's interesting. This one. Boy. Oh. Uh, so we got bamboo, calico, and pinstripe. Well, there's. There's at least bamboo in that one. Uh, no pinstripe. Pinstripe is a really strong effect. Calico? I don't think there's calico in this one. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell with the calico. Oh, let me take a look further on down the, down the snake here. I don't think there's calico. Sometimes with the straight bamboos though, you get little hearts. I don't see any like real hearts in there. But I think that might be our first straight bamboo in that one. Which is pretty awesome. I think, I think, I think. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Looking at this, I think there's calico. Look at all the patterns wiped out right there. I think there is calico in this one. I think that's a bamboo calico, actually. That's our second one of the year. And we didn't get any straight bamboos. Wow. Okay. That is something there. Wow, look at these guys stuck together. Wow. Still stuck together from the original clutch. All right, let's take a look at this one. It's looking kind of normal in there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's a calico. That could be a calico. Take a look here. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful calico. I love those calicos. They have like a coppery, like a coppery color to them. They pick up a lot of white as they age and mature. Nice looking calico right there. All right, let's take a look at this guy. So no lessers so far. No straight bamboos. Uh, let's see what we got here. This one, so let's see. Wow, so this is kind of interesting. I thought I produced one of these before, but uh, it turned out it was just a straight pinstripe. I think this is my very first pinstripe calico. Take a look at that. Very interesting. Usually with the pinstripes you have like these scrunched up alien heads and the calico completely wipes it out. That would be interesting to see how that one would age and if it would bring a lot of white in the sides as it aged. That's pretty wild. Alright, so we got two more stuck together. <laughs> Check these out. Wow. Oh, that's one big goopy mess. Yuck. All right, let's see what we got in here. And these reptile eggs. This one's interesting. Ugh, this one's kind of stinky. Wow, this one, uh, 
I think this is another one. Ugh, I don't know why it smells so bad. Ugh, it almost smells like it's dead. <laughs> it almost smells like it's dead, but it's alive. Are you alive, buddy? Wow. He's definitely alive. He's peeking out. I think he's alive. Let's see. Ugh. Yeah, he's moving in there. I can see him breathing. So I think that is another pinstripe calico right there. Ugh, I don't know why that one smells so bad though. Wow. Yeah, he's ducking his head in. <laughs> he's definitely alive. Ugh. I've never had a, a good egg smell so bad like that. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, all right, we got one more. It looked like the whole clutch was bothered by the the backup mail, uh, which is really interesting. All right, let's take a look at the last one here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, wow, wow! That's a really good looking one. That's a, another pinstripe calico, but look at how intense it is. That is really intense. And look at how the calico's really, that's really impressive. That's a really neat looking snake right there. Wow. That is crazy looking. <laughs> that's pretty awesome right there. Huh. Wow, so that is three pinstripe calicos? Wow, <laughs> I never produced one before and then I got three of them all at once. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome clutch. Two bamboo combinations. Looks like a bamboo calico, bamboo pinstripe calico. Uh, no normals. Got a calico and then three pinstripe calicos. Wait a minute. Uh, we have cal we have calico in every single egg. <laughs> There's calico in every egg. Uh, how crazy is that? I mean, the odds would be like 50% on that one. I don't think you can have a, a super calico. Uh, I have to check. I have to check my breeding on the uh, on the on the mail that I use. I've never even heard of a super calico, but maybe I bred, I don't know if I bred two calicos together to produce that one. I'll have to double check on that one. But it seems pretty funny that we got all calicos in every single egg. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to put these back in the incubator. And uh, once they come out of the egg, then uh, I'll show them to you in a little bit more detail. We'll give them some names and put them up, put them up in the hatchling rack. All right, so I am definitely happy with the results from that one. That was pretty interesting. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.